it's good to eat garlic on a daily basis due to its many health benefits. But do you know that in order to avail all of its health benefits, you also have to avoid making some mistakes that most people usually do. So without any delay, let's get to know what are those mistakes. Number 1. Are you taking garlic in the form of supplements? People often take garlic supplements instead of eating fresh garlic, and that's exactly when they destroy most of its health benefits. To get the most out of garlic's healing properties, you must eat it raw and slightly crushed. Raw garlic has healing powers that are unmatched by any pill, powder, or capsule. Most probably this is due to the fact that the phosphorus gas that gives garlic its smell goes away when garlic is dried, processed, or heated. As a result, the health benefits associated with it also go away. If you find it too hard to chew raw garlic, remind yourself that you are eating something that has been shown to work just as well as penicillin. Before we proceed, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming our Patreon. Number 2. Are you taking care of your gut bacteria? If you keep eating junk food, fast food, and toxic processed foods, no amount of garlic can stop you from getting bacterial infections. This is because these foods tend to increase the oxidative damage in your body, resulting in the weakening of your immune system. A weak immune system makes your body more vulnerable to pathogens, such as bacteria and viruses. Your gut is the first line of defense against these attacks, so you should make sure to keep your gut healthy. You can do that by giving your body the good bacteria it needs. These good bacteria are abundantly found in fermented foods like Greek yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, and kombucha. You can also consider taking probiotics. Long story short, cut off from all the foods that disturb your natural gut flora. Only then, you'll allow garlic to do its magic. Number 3. Are you cooking garlic the right way? If you want to spice up your meals, you should definitely add garlic to them. But if you want to take complete advantage of garlic's health benefits, don't cook it. The active ingredient in garlic, called allicin, is destroyed by heat. This chemical is useful until the garlic is raw and uncooked. Therefore, it is recommended to first cook your food and then add garlic to it. The least you can do to save allicin is add crushed during the last 5 to 10 minutes of cooking. Number 4. Do you eat garlic on an empty stomach? Several studies show that garlic helps reduce inflammation and contains antioxidants that are useful for people suffering from certain intestinal worms and colon infections. When you swallow a garlic clove, it stays whole until it reaches the intestines, where the alkaline medium breaks garlic down and lets the allicin out, which is its active ingredient. That's when garlic's real power starts to show as a bactericide, a virus killer, a fungicide, and a worm killer. This is particularly important for people who have stomach pain or acidity. Garlic doesn't do anything bad to your stomach, so it's best to take it on an empty stomach. Number 5. Do you use pre-cut garlic? When we crush garlic, when we crush garlic, the first thing we notice is the strong garlic smell. It is a sign that allicin is breaking down, which makes it much less useful. It also releases a lot of organic sulfur compounds and antioxidants that are good for heart health. Once the garlic is cut, it quickly loses its smell and taste, so it's better that you use whole cloves and fresh ones are better than dried ones. Before you use the garlic, make sure the bulbs are firm and, most importantly, don't have any buds. Dry garlic should be kept in a cool, dark, dry, and well-ventilated place. However, those individuals who specifically want to consume garlic while focusing on health benefits may consume fresh garlic in crushed or mesh form. Doing so gives a better chance for sulfur compounds and antioxidants to absorb, rather than consuming a whole clove. These compounds facilitate the blood flow, both in the heart and the arteries, by helping to reduce the levels of triglycerides, LDL, or bad cholesterol. Number 6. Are you a fan of garlic tea? Garlic tea is made by putting garlic in boiling water and letting it steep for a while. The garlic is then strained out of the water. But, as you know by now, that allicin is badly affected by heat. Therefore, garlic tea probably won't be as good for your health as other, more concentrated forms of garlic. 
Moreover, there is no significant evidence that garlic tea specifically can help prevent or treat any kind of illness. Many websites that say garlic tea is good for your health cite studies that usually refer to whole garlic, garlic oil, or garlic extracts. Additionally, no studies have looked into whether putting garlic, honey, and lemon in a drink could be good for your health. Most of the health claims about garlic tea that are made online are probably not true or overly exaggerated. Number 7. Are you eating garlic during pregnancy? Garlic is probably safe for pregnant women to eat. The amount that is safe is the amount that is found in food. This measurement isn't very clear, which means that pregnant women should consume garlic with caution. Just be careful not to go too far while consuming raw garlic or garlic-flavored foods. It could be bad. Garlic usually makes your body hot, which can make you lose your baby through a miscarriage. This is because garlic cloves are too strong to eat, especially during pregnancy. It also means that you shouldn't take garlic supplements while you're pregnant because of how strong they are. Number 8. Are you consuming too much garlic? Too much garlic lowers blood pressure for 1-2 to two hours and can cause irritation in the stomach due to its sulfur contents. This makes the blood rush to the stomach and less to the rest of the body. Moderate consumption of garlic doesn't usually bring it down so much that it's a problem. Experts also believe that eating too much garlic won't help with helicobacter, which is a stomach bacterium, or with intestinal bacteria, which are usually harmless. And it definitely won't help with fungi. If you have such problems with your stomach or intestines, you should see a doctor. Number 9. Garlic shows its effects in some foods, not all. Garlic is mostly used in certain kinds of foods and cooking, like in fish soups, mollusks, and seafood like mussels marinara, etc. But doing the same might not be really necessary with sautéed foods, like mushrooms or kidneys, in stews, and in sauces for pasta or rice. If you can't give up garlic, oil, and chili peppers in your spaghetti, even on a brave night, chew a few coffee beans or fresh mint leaves after dinner. Number 10. Are you using garlic with homeopathic drugs? If you're sick and taking homeopathic medicine to treat it, don't eat garlic. Some studies suggest that garlic and onion can stop your homeopathic medicines from working properly. Because the medication is absorbed and begins its activity in the mouth, it is recommended that prior to taking the medication, the mouth should be free of any strong food articles, tastes, or odors, such as the ones coming after consuming garlic. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.